our FXFL Game of the Week presented by Nivea Men here from Boston, Massachusetts as Brooklyn knocking off Boston 23-16. to Bolts with the victory, improving to 3-0 on the year. Boston falling to 1-3. Jay Fielder, let's take a look at some of the highlights. And early on, it was Brooklyn's offense, including a 66-yard catch by Kareem Huggins that yeah. really fired it off. Yeah, great blocking by the offensive lineman on the screen pass. And that one really electrified the, the Brooklyn Bolts in the second half. Started a blitz that they poured it on. As you see here, Corey Robinson connecting with Deontay Spencer. Spencer had six catches for 84 yards, including that touchdown. And then the big return by Fogg, breaking out, breaking loose down the right sideline, showing off that 4-4 speed, putting this game away. 84 yards on that return. You mentioned Spencer's numbers tonight. 159 all-purpose yards. Meanwhile, Taj Boyd, very impressive performance for him. Taj Boyd in the loss did play impressively. He was 24 for 33, 246 yards. But the offense for uh, uh, Boston was with Martin Hippolyte there. His one negative play on the day, the fumble late in the ball game, kept, kept uh, Johnny Millard with the recovery. As you see Taj Boyd right there, getting some hugs from the opponent. And so with that loss, Boston falling to one and three on the season. Up next, a road matchup against Omaha. Brooklyn still perfect on the season, three and oh. From my partner, Jay Fiedler, I'm John Brickley. Thanks for watching the FXFL Game of the Week. Back at Harvard Stadium here in Boston, Massachusetts, where the Brooklyn Bolts victorious over the Boston Brawlers, 23 to 16. Down to the field with our Harry Chickmark. Thank you, John. Here with the Nivea Men post-game interview. Coach John Bach, you guys are still undefeated in the FXFL, a seven-point victory tonight. Oh, it was fantastic. Uh, you know, it's a tough trip coming up here to Boston, but the but uh, we fought back from being behind again and came back and found a way to win in the fourth quarter like we have been in the past. This really is NFL level. How are you guys undefeated? I mean, you're just rolling through the competition. I think we've gotten some good breaks, you know, and we could obviously had some plays go the other way where we might want up on the other side of that scoreboard. So I just, you know, I, like we said, we're, we're a second half football team. We try to play as hard as we can, play with enthusiasm and effort. And uh, the, this is the result that they're getting right now. How did you like that run back on the uh, the return? That was great. That was fantastic. Uh, we just moved him there this week. Uh, he's been doing some good things in practice, and for him to hit a, uh, have that kind of a, a run like that was fantastic. And also Spencer came out the, today too. He's another one that we, we've been trying to give him the football and haven't been able to, and he came up with some big plays today. So I'm really excited. Coach John Bach, I know you have a long drive back to New York. All drive right. safe. Thank you very much. You heard it from John Bach. Back up to you guys in the booth. All right, Harry, thanks so much tonight as the Brooklyn Bolts get the victory 23 to 16. Once again, our next game coming your way next Wednesday, November 5th, as Boston will be on the road to take on Omaha 8 Eastern time. 7 p.m. Central from T-Day Ameritrade Park in Omaha. Again, our final score, a 23-16 win for Brooklyn. They improved to 3-0 on the year. Boston dropping to 1-3 on the season. For my partner, Jay Fiedler, and alongside Harry Chickma down on the sidelines, I'm John Brickley for our hardworking production crew. Thanks so much for watching the FXFL Game of the Week presented by Nivea Men as Brooklyn, a winner here in Boston, 23 to 16. Have a great night, everyone.